Hello dear students, welcome back. This question is for two marks and is from gate 2016 exam. It is from the topic of fragmentation. They are saying there is some router and this router receives a IP datagram of 1000 bytes. This datagram needs to be forwarded on a link with MTU is equal to 100 bytes. Okay. Question is how many fragments will be created if IP header is of 20 bytes? You need to tell in how many smaller fragments will this datagram be divided. Okay. Now before discussing this question, I like to discuss what is MTU. MTU stands for maximum transmittable unit. This is the maximum amount of data that can be present in any data link layer frame. Okay. So just take a data link layer frame. Don't count header and trailer. The maximum data that can be present inside this frame is MTU. Okay. So MTU for this network or for this link is 100 bytes. This also means the maximum size of IP packet on this network can be of 100 bytes because eventually a IP packet has to be placed inside a frame only. Okay. So IP payload plus header present in one packet can be maximum of 100 bytes. So how much maximum data or maximum payload can be present? That will be 80. Okay. Because 20 bytes are taken by the header. So maximum data can be 80 bytes only. Now see, this packet is of total 1000 bytes. Okay. How much data will be there in this packet? Data will be 980 bytes. Okay. Just remove a 20 byte header. Now this datagram has 980 bytes of data, but this network can support packets with maximum 80 bytes of data only. That means this one needs to be fragmented. So this router is aware of this fact. Okay. All of these numbers are known to this router. So router will be fragmenting this datagram. See for fragmentation, first of all, router will remove the IP header. Okay. This header, it will be separated from the data. Suppose this header is removed and it will be saved somewhere. Okay. It will not be deleted. It will be saved. Now maximum data in a fragment can be 80 bytes. Okay. So this entire data of the original datagram will be divided into smaller parts, each part of 80 bytes. Okay. How many parts will be created? That is the total data, which was 980 divided by maximum data that can be present in one fragment that is 80. So it is 8 into 12, 12 point something. So this is 12.2 maybe is 12.25 maybe 980 divided by 80. Yeah, 12.25 is correct. Now see, what does this mean? This means if 980 bytes of data is divided into smaller parts, each of 80 bytes, you will get 12 complete parts. That means 12 fragments will be of 80 bytes. And in the 13th fragment, entire 80 bytes will not be present. The 13th fragment or last fragment will contain only 0 0.25th part of 80 bytes. That is 20 bytes. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay. This one will be very small. 13 like this. So 13 fragments will be created. Answer to this question is how much? 13. They were asking how many fragments are created. So please don't say it is 12 fragments. See, 12 fragments are of complete 80 bytes. 13th fragment is only of 20 bytes. The size of all of these 12, it is 80 bytes each. And this last this fragment will be of 20 bytes only. Okay. I'm only talking about data as of now. See, 12 bytes are of maximum size possible 
and thirteenth one is of twenty bytes only. But still, it is a fragment, right? So we have to consider it. So total fragments created is thirteen. Answer to this question is thirteen. Now I will like to explain few more things. You can skip the video if you want to. We have got our answer. Now this router, it will take this data of eighty bytes. Suppose this is the eighty byte data, the first fragment. It will add this header on this fragment and send it. Most of the things in this header will be copied as it is, except for a few uh, fields like that fragmentation offset, and we have more fragments bit and so on. Okay, only very few fields will be changed. Now source address, destination address, they will be same, and they will be seen from the original header. Okay. So this is eighty plus twenty hundred bytes, and you very well know hundred bytes can easily go in one data link layer frame. Okay, so first fragment is sent. Similarly, second fragment is of eighty bytes plus twenty bytes header that is hundred uh, bytes. Okay, so that one will also be sent. So on all of these twelve fragments will be sent. For the last one, there is twenty bytes data plus twenty bytes header. This is of forty bytes only. So easily it can be placed in. One frame because MTU is anyways hundreds. We are using only forty. Okay, so this can also be transmitted. Okay, 